Please. Tony, this isn't funny. Tony, where the fuck is Nathan? I don't know. I'm not in on this. Believe me. Kelly! Kelly! I've been at Miskatonic University for three years now. Um, the reason I came here is because they have an extensive uh, library on mythology, folklore, and the occult. I've been lobbying to get here for years now. It's my first teaching job. Because I have been working on this Circles project for, well, for most of my life. So, my mother used to dream about circles when I was a kid. I've always had this fascination with myths and the occult. And one day I had this book from the library about local legends and I came across a story of the Devil's Circle here in Friedens. And as I'm reading the book, I heard my mother say, that's it, that's the circle I dream about. And that night, I dreamt about it too. And I dreamt about falling through the circle like it was a hole or, or a portal. And pff, out of that I was hooked. Over the course of my studies, I've discovered that there are 26 circles located around the globe. I did actually a lot of that research while I was in high school. I uh, proceeded with my graduate work, uh, postgraduate, all in myth and folklore, all under the auspices of actually trying to find out more about these circles and the occurrences and what their connections might be. And I think I've actually discovered what it is. One of the first recorded events involving one of the circles uh, was actually in ancient Lemuria. Uh, the ancient Lemurians had one main creator god. It's not a devil, but an anti-creator, almost like a personification of Armageddon, uh, known as Keluta the Devourer. And Keluta actually would be summoned through these circles. Now, as I proceeded with the studies of this, I began to realize that all of these circles are portals where Keluta has access to our world. In 1973, there was a geological survey of the circle here in Frieden, and it discovered SI-032. SI-032 has been discovered in the other 12 sites that I visited. This will be the 13th site. From the amount of actual documentation and rumored disappearances, that this is the most powerful. A friend of mine at MIT who is a biochemist developed a drug that is going to actually change the polarity of my neurological system. electricity that runs my nervous system is going to be changed in polarity so that I can go through this circle and then when it wears off on the other side I'll be drawn back through. I'll be the only person to ever travel through the circle and come back. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the uh, students here? Going students that I'm bringing with me, yes. Well, let me see. I am bringing uh, Nikki probably one of my best students, because she approaches everything from a purely analytical standpoint, uh, which I can sometimes lose sight of in my passion for the subject. I guess I'm coming along on this trip for a little more clarity on what the professor's been trying to convince me of these past couple of months. I'm a bit of a skeptic, and I don't really believe in evil spirits and paranormal activity. I mean, I think my parents would like to see me go and do something interesting like this because I, I don't really get out much. I'm really busy a lot, especially with school. 
I take school very seriously. Nikki has a very clear head on her shoulders and a, a brilliant scientific mind, actually. And I'm hoping that I can cure her for a little bit of her skepticism. I'm the type of person that has to see something to believe it. In some senses, he has a good head on his shoulders. I just think he obsesses over this a little too much. I mean, you should see the guy's office. He's got circles all over his walls and all kinds of crap on this thing. And he's visited circles all around the world. He's been researching this for years. Sometimes I think the professor's a little crazy. <laughs> We've also got uh, Kelly, K. Ray. She was a student of mine uh, last semester. I wouldn't say that she's the, uh, the most enthusiastic um, member of the class. Okay. Um, what do you want to know? Uh, what do you think about the circle? I mean, do you think there's really anything to it? Or? Um, I don't really know. Ever since Nathan and I met, he's been talking about this circle. He's totally obsessed with it. And I don't really know how I feel about the paranormal or whatever. I just, I think Nathan obsesses a little too much. And, um, but I want to be there for him. I support him. And I'm, I'm in love with him. I'm going to college because my daddy wants me to. He wants me to be smart. My dad is a psychologist or a psychiatrist. I don't know, whichever one prescribes drugs. So we're pretty well off. Okay, we're rich. Well, her parents have a great financial background and she's agreed to actually you know, financially back this trip. So that certainly adds in her favor. It'll also be nice to have her there for uh, a little emotional support because this isn't going to be for the faint of heart. Also, on a third year university teacher, um, I'm certainly not making enough money to pay for this mission. <laughs> not on my salary. I don't know, I think Nathan could be the one. And that's really the only reason I'm going, is because I love him. And I want to show him that I support what he does, even though it really gets annoying sometimes. I think people do it for attention. I mean, they say that they see ghosts, but you know, they can never get like a clear picture. It's always something, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure the professor's gonna do his best to try to convince me of this thing. I don't believe in like demons and ghosts and all that stuff. I've never seen one, so what's to believe in, right? I think all this uh, should come together well. Put together a little, good little team, and hopefully when I can submit this, uh, I will get tenure and put together a few real missions with scientific teams to actually go through by opening up a whole new field of science as we know it. The first step into uh, discovering a whole new scientific way of thinking about the paranormal, or magic, which is probably just really more advanced science than we understand at this time, because we don't have the open mind to look out into the universe and continue to explore. Any uh, final words before you venture out? Wish me luck. <laughs> I think big things are gonna happen.
I'm gonna kill him. Don't get mad. From his point of view, it kind of makes sense. How? How does it make sense? Well, you know how he is about the government. Yeah, but just because my brother is a paranoid psychotic doesn't mean we should have to deal with the fallout of all of that. Watch out. You're gonna cut off a finger, and then how are you going to show him? He's just got a scratch. It's not a scratch. It looks like more than a scratch. Wait, don't freak him out. I'm not freaking him out. I'm freaking me out. Well, don't do that either. I'm just getting a little lightheaded. It's almost... Okay. It's really not that bad. Well, you know how I get when I see my own blood. Well, then don't look at it. No, it's everywhere. Well, just put pressure on the towel. I'm going to get it bandaged. I'm gonna need stitches. You don't need stitches. Well, hurry up. You okay? Yeah. Where's the light? on the wall by the door. You sure you're all right? There's something in the dark. There are no monsters here. No, the only monster here is you, you little monster. Okay. I'm gonna have to use duct tape with the gauze because I think that we're out of... What? Newspaper says is the end of the world. Boys and girls are coming out feeling the big old comedy is headed our way. Some say. What, I didn't say anything. Yeah, keep it that way. Hey! We'll take two more of those. How you plan on paying for that? The Lord provides. So what do you want? He's awake. Who? Nathan Marsh. He woke up last night. He's been catatonic for, what, like ten, ten years? I read the case file. He's awake. Conscious. Talking. Talking? Jesus. Is he there? Look, I know you're taking some time off to think things through. Yeah. Think things through. Look, I'm not asking you to put the habit back on. I could just... You worked with him for 10 years. You know the case. Okay. Come in tomorrow.
jello. You like jello, don't you? That's what I thought. Why don't you go on back to your room, okay? Oh, good, you made it. I didn't think you were going to show. Do you have his file? Only had a chance to read through it once. Messed up. How's he presenting? Fully aware. He's confused, but, well, he's confused. Meaning? He keeps saying this phrase, and we don't know what language it is. Of course. He's a professor of ancient theology. Catholic? No, very much no. He's from over at Miskatonic University. Oh. Yeah. Occult theory, mythology, and anthropology. Great. So he has a history of insanity. Don't underestimate him. Or what he knows. What? Why is it so quiet? The other patients, where are they? Yeah. Look. They've been like that all day. Huh. All unresponsive, for the most part. For the most part? Well, there's Max. He said something to me. He's in the world. Put him in the interview room. Would you like me to come with you? No, I'm good. Catherine, there's something not right about him. He's fully aware of his surroundings, but... He's been catatonic for 10 years. Yeah, he's gonna be a little off. I'll be fine. Dr. Marsh, my name is Dr. Catherine Charter. Ten years ago, we found you in a catatonic state in a field outside of Freedens, Pennsylvania. Ten years. Yeah. I know, it's a lot to process. <sighs> a lot to process. I... Where's Kelly? Kelly? She didn't make it. You were all alone. This is all so... Strange? Like it's not real. Like it's... fake. Yeah. Well, you've been out of it for over a decade. Reality's gonna seem a little weird. You know, you don't have a lot of experience with it. I'm a man dreaming I'm a butterfly, or a... Or am I butterfly dreaming I'm a man? Zeng Zi. I've seen reality, and this is not it. He is in the world. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Marsh? You can just call me Nathan. Well, Nathan, what was that? I don't know. Why don't you tell me what you do remember? 
We watched the tapes. Tapes? The tapes from the site visit. We were visiting a devil's circle. And what's that? A devil's circle is a nexus point. There's 26 of them all around the world. They're a gateway, a portal, a nexus points for paranormal activity. Of course. Don't dismiss me like I'm crazy. This is my life's work. I have studied these circles my entire life, and this one, this one in particular is... I can't tell which ones are real and what is here. Here is real. Watch the tapes. They're here. I don't know. There's nothing in your file that mentions any... tapes. Videotapes. Sister Catherine, I'm not a nun anymore. Where are the tapes? Catherine, calm down. No, wait. This man has been my patient for ten years. Ten years. And all that time there was some clue as to what had happened to him right here. Where are the tapes? Sit down. I'm not gonna sit down. Sit down. were sent to the Vatican. Bullshit. I don't know why. I didn't have a chance to ask. Doesn't that seem a little odd to you? Some guy has a hiking accident and the Vatican asks for his home videos? Yes. Yes, it seemed odd to me. Okay, so if you thought it was a little... It why seemed you... odd to me. So I made a copy. I haven't had a chance to look at it, but I thought it seemed odd. Sister Margaret, you rebel. Don't tell anyone where you got this, okay? My lips are sealed. Miskatonic University for three years now. The reason I came here is because they have an extensive uh, library on mythology, folklore, and the occult. I've been lobbying to get here for years now because I have been working on this Circles project, well, for most of my life. And one day I had this book from the library about local legends and came across the story of the Devil's Circle here in Freemans. And as I'm reading the book, I heard my mother say from behind me, why don't you tell a bit about some of the uh, students here? Students about? that I'm bringing with me, yes. My friend John is actually going to be giving us a ride. Um, not a student. 
Unfortunately, John uh, will not be able to spend the entire time with us, but he did agree to drive us out there into the middle of absolutely nowhere. He also agreed to uh, set up camp for us. I'm the type of person that has to fire. see something to believe it. But I don't know. I think it'll be fun. I mean, Kelly's a good friend of mine. We're going to have plenty of beer, so that ought to be good, you know. He's totally obsessed with it, and I don't really know how I feel about paranormal or whatever. And I've been in haunted houses. I've been to cemeteries. Nothing. He's going to have to do a lot to convince my opening stories. up a whole new field of science as we know it. The first step into uh, discovering a whole new scientific way of thinking about the paranormal or magic, which is probably just really more advanced science than we understand at this time. look out into the universe and continue to explore. My entire existence, I have spent chasing this energy, this Keluta the Devourer. Oh my God, my flesh is burning! <laughs> what do you say about Barb? There's a uh, rusty bird wire back there. Oh. Mm -hmm. My job's harder. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Okay, that's enough of you. Check out all our crap, guys. <laughs> Everything we need for survival. We got the camera, some blood, tent stuff, hot dogs, you know, water. And our tent. <laughs> that's good enough, John. Oh, nice. This is our firing. <laughs> and that is the devil's circle. size is the one in Kenya. It reminds me an awful lot of it actually. This is strange but you can actually see right here, over here, it's in both Kiluta. X right there going through and also another inner circle inside of larger circle. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Tony, our videographer. Say hi to the camera, Tony. Hi. There we go. Nikki, baby. Yeah. <laughs> John, our driver. Hi. John, say hi to the camera. Hi, the camera. There you go. <laughs> say goodnight, Gracie. Good night, there you go. <laughs> My lovely K Ray. Okay. This is a great story. Shut up! I'm glad I'm recording this. I get it. Wait, this will good. definitely go into the documentary. <laughs> this is why I'm a professor and they're okay. students. That was, that was a warm up. <laughs> a riddle. <laughs> Do you hear the crickets? The crickets. <laughs> yeah. The crickets. They know the answer. And back to the circle, the true riddle. I'm not sure what that means. 
Normally I would say that you have to actually stand in the center of the circle. For, I guess anything to happen, but a smaller circle inside. That's new, that's different. And during the day, there doesn't seem to be actually any difference in the air, difference in the energy. Okay, we're actually going into the circle now. And, oh God, I shouldn't do this. All right. Uh, there is actually a definite change in temperature right here. Uh, wow, my um, got goosebumps here and my arm's just standing up. This is the circle. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it's cold. Okay, I'm getting out right now. Just an observation, I guess. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to experiment, use the dog first, send it through, and then the dog will act as a sacrifice. I'm not going to tell the rest of them. <laughs> I don't expect it to come back. I'll come back alive. Okay, come on, boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing, we're actually gonna test the power of this circle right now. Yeah. We're gonna see if this circle is gonna be any different from the other 12. The other 12, didn't have enough energy to swallow up something this size. Yeah, and I just staked the dog over there. Huh? I just staked the dog over there. Tony, I'll film this. in the world. What are you doing here? He is in the world. He is in the world. The other patients, they know. The walls are pretty thick. I don't think you're gonna... No. I can hear them up here. 
What happened to the dog? What do you know about film? I don't know, I've seen a few movies. No, film. Film's made up of a series of images, pictures. It moves by at 24 frames per second. I'm not asking you about film. But, those frames move so fast that we can only barely perceive it. Just flickers in the darkness. Unless the film skips, then we notice it. Site 13 is a weak spot. If the film's gonna skip, it's gonna skip there. A weak spot in what? Reality. Okay. Who's Ryan? What? Ryan. You think about him a lot. Oh, so you're psychic now. No. But this piece that's inside of me, that Keluta put there, he's coming for it. And that piece sees things. So you're saying you're a god? No. You just have a little piece of a god inside you. Kingdom of Heaven is within, right? That's what it says in your book. Not my book. Where do you want this? Over there. What are you doing? I figured we'd watch together. No. Why not? We'll find out what happens. Together. I think I know what happens. I don't want to watch. It's okay. We'll do this together. I don't want to watch. Have faith. <laughs> I don't have faith. And I don't want to watch. Yeah. yeah. That is totally fine. We do not have to watch. Just breathe. We do not have to watch it. What you have to consider is that maybe this film, this story in 24 frames per second, maybe it's not about finding our faith or learning some dramatic life lesson. Maybe it's a horror movie. Ryan was my patient. Catherine. I was a nun in addition to being a psychologist, and Ryan was my patient. He had tried to kill himself, but I thought we were making progress. What happened to him? One night he got out of his room and went to the roof. Ryan. Ryan. First things first. Ryan. Don't tell me it's a moral sin. I know that I'm sick of hearing that, but I can't stand living in this <laughs> pointlessness. Ryan, please. He wanted me to give him one reason. You can't, can you? There's so many reasons that... You're worse off than I am. <gasps> Just one reason. go on. You couldn't think of one, could you? No. If I go to him, okay, Luta, if I go to him, this all goes away. Reality, all of it. And maybe that
that's for the best. Maybe. But let's see this through first. Play our parts. Dog's gone. No, it was actually a big spider. I'm gonna get up now. The dog's gone. What? What? The dog is gone. You probably didn't tie him tight enough and he ran away. No, because the snake would be there. The dog is what gone. The fuck? I told you. Bigger out out as this here sleeping bag. It's going to hit those first, and, and then, then a limb's going to fall, and then it's going to hit on us, and mm -hmm. somebody's going to die. Always. It's going to be Tony, because he's closer. <laughs> We're deep, and it's, all, it's already lighting it up. But you know, when lightning strikes, it has like 25 choices of where it's going to hit. Yeah, let me have another beer. Uh, <laughs> he deals in circles, not heat. Nice, yeah. exactly. I'm a myth in folklore. Come on, man. See, it's easy enough. Yeah. So we have to stay in this damn tent for the rest no. of the night? We come out here to see the fucking circle and we have to stay in the fucking tent. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm going out to the circle. And yeah, me too. Well, I gotta be out there by 323. Yeah. No, because that's what I'm <laughs> going through. Oh, please, Kelly. He had somebody pick the dog up, okay? And he's probably gonna scare you again by running off and leaving a piece of his hair behind and then we'll <laughs> think he disappeared. Look, look, I understand. I know what this is now. It's, it's, it's fitting together with all the theories that I've got so far. And I'm going to prove it. I'll believe it when I see it. Alright, okay. Yeah, what happened to the dog? I don't know, you tell me. Yeah, you tell me. I don't know. Mm. I just want to know why, if you don't know what fucking happened to the dog and you think he did something to the dog. He made the dog disappear. So you want to come back all flesh and blood? No. <laughs> I'm going through. <laughs> no. I'm not coming back. Oh, please. Like that. The grass is growing in an ancient hieroglyphic pattern. It's an ancient Lemurian hieroglyphic pattern. How did they get Real, there? How did who get where? How did the circles that, get there? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Indians. That's a... <laughs> Indians. <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> it's not going well. <laughs> I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I have to do this. I don't... I'm not trying to convince you. <laughs> oh, just let him go. He's okay. coming back, remember? Nikki, will you stay the fuck out of it? Thanks. All right. Oh my god. I'm still out of here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Dude, you're driving. I know. You don't get to have this. Why don't you go into the circle and teleport to wherever you have to go? <laughs> and then you can always come back to your car. <laughs> it is free parking. Yeah. It's so negative. It's not negative. It's real. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. There we go. I'm leaving. You're leaving us? Yeah. It's going to make like a Phoenix and head out. <laughs> be careful with that shit. What shit? The circle? Yeah. It'll be fine, man. Thank you. Right. appreciate it. Not a problem. Give me a call Get if you guys safe. need anything. All right. Sure. Have a safe trip. Woo! <laughs> I'll see you guys Monday morning. Alright. In the haste of the rain, you know, just threw everything in. Great. Well, this mission is going off swimmingly so, so far, isn't it? What's up? Hey, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Stop. I need your support right now. I don't have their support. I need your support. <laughs> I need you to back me up on this. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm coming back. Don't worry. 
I'll be back. I promise you. You're not going to fail at this. Have faith in me. Please, have faith in me. I need someone to. Nathan, I no have one faith else, in you. No one else has faith in me. I need you. I need you. Please just listen to me. All I want from you. Would you look at me? You're going in I'm going. five minutes. Yes. Okay? If you don't know your shit now, you don't know your shit. Would you please look at me? I'm looking at you. Would you please give me something to make me feel better? I need something to make me feel better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tony. It's okay. Why are you doing this? Because I had to know. Yeah, but why? What do you mean, why? I had to know it, it was... An obsession? Maybe. And you're willing to put everything at risk for that? Do you really want to know why? For the same reason that you won't stop watching that tape even though you know something awful is about to happen. Now play the tape. the eye of bull death, Tony. That's the thing that's going to bring me through. That and that. The TTE. Technomantic Transexodiator. It's going to change the energy of my neurons. I know it sounds insane. This is it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go through. Oh, oh shit. Bulgoth went through. He went through the circle. 66 AD. He came back a raving fucking lunatic. I'm hoping this will stop that. Yeah, it's human. I got it from Miss Katana. From the med lab. I know. That's fucked up. Oh. What am I doing? No, it's fine. High five, right? I'm gonna do this. Shut the fuck up. You're fucking with my concentration, okay? Stand back. You're, you're... Tony, Tony, I think you're in the circle too. Just, can you step back? The dog didn't have to do all this. Fuck off. Stop yelling at each other. Nikki, just get the fucking shit with me, okay? Can you leave me concentrate? Yeah, you know that, that might be best. Okay. Okay? Tony, thank you, actually. Thank you for being the fucking voice of reason around here. Yelupa, Tono, Tona, Yelupa, Tona, Yelupa, Achoda, Manulash. Bachoda Wanulash Oh my Nathan? Are 
Are you okay? Nathan? Are you okay? What happened? I remember. What? Where'd you go? I think I went to hell. Okay, calm down now. Nobody went to hell, okay? You did not go to hell. What was it like? What? Down there. Oh. Not so much down there. Out there. I don't know. It's, it's hard to find a word for it other than... Hell. It's not what you think. Hell. It's not what you think. They tell you that it's fire and it's brimstone, but it's not. It's cold. And dark. And you just float there. And you're alone with your soul. You're alone. And you realize that there is nothing that is of significance and there's nothing that ever, ever will be. That's not even the worst part. Just when you're sure you can't take it anymore, that you'll break into a million pieces, that's when you hear it out there in the darkness, and it moves. And you pray, you pray for that loneliness again, because you realize that the thing that's out there in the dark is so much worse. <laughs> We should take a break. No, we have to see what happens next. We've got to keep watching. He's in the world. And he's coming. What? Come on. He'll be back any second now. We're all gonna get stupid drunk. Oh god, I need to get stupid drunk right now, Nikki. One who lost. Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! Kelly! 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 Not in on this, believe me. <laughs> Nathan! Oh, shit. What are you doing, Nathan? This isn't funny! Fucking shit! I knew this shit was gonna fucking happen! What the fuck is Nathan? Tony? Oh my god. This is so ridiculous. Kelly! You get in god here! Damn it! I hate him! I fucking hate him! Get in here! Fucking fuck! <sighs> Would you calm the fuck down? Calm Listen to me. He's joking with us. He's playing a game, and you're falling for it, and you look ridiculous. He's probably out there right now laughing. I'm about to slap you in the goddamn face. Sorry. Let me go find him. I'm not going to find shit. Why, are you afraid? No. Then I'll go. And you're not, no. You're not going either. I don't think anybody stay. should go. I no. Stay We're staying here. right here and waiting for him to come back. And if it starts raining, it sounds like it's going to. He's going to come back in, and Joke's going to be over. Exactly. Tony, this is something funny. So just have a beer and calm down. He'll come yeah. back soon enough. Let's have a beer. If nobody falls for his little joke, he's going to give up. <laughs> and he'll be back. And you know what? We'll laugh you again. really... Shut up. You really think so, Tony? Yes. It's a joke. It has to be a joke. It's a joke. Have a drink. Calm down. <laughs> so I guess that's the camera one. So Nathan's out here. Nathan. Oh my god. Nathan? What are you doing? Nathan? Nathan! Cut it out! Alright, because you've gone on long enough with me. Nathan, come on. Nathan, quit it. You're scaring Kelly. Don't you think this has gone on long enough? Nathan? Nathan, what's wrong? 
<laughs> oh, fuck. What did you do, Nate? <coughs> I fucking flipped the switch. What? Oh, God. Nathan, you've got blood all over you. Fuck. <coughs> Next. It's, it's, it, he can come through now. He can. Who can come through? This is not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It's the end of everything. The end of everything. Nathan. Just. I gotta go back through. Nathan, you don't, don't go back through. You've Please lost don't go it. Back in I there. Don't, I don't you know why. You don't understand. You don't fucking understand what it was like. But you've like completely lost it now. Okay? I, this has gone far enough. I think we should just go home, okay? I really do. I think you've gotten enough research done. It's too much. It's too much. Circle only went one way. You could only go. You're not supposed to come back. Where did you go, Nathan? No. It's coming. It's coming. Rachel, what's coming? Talk to me. They looked on the tower. It's coming. That's the joke. Nathan, please come. I flipped the switch. It's coming. I gotta go back. Fuck away from me. I gotta figure this out. I gotta get away. I can. I can figure. Go away. Go away. Go back to the tower. Tony, um, Tony, go back. Go back, fucking town, please. Get the fuck back from the church! I can't want to go home. What's he doing out there? I don't like this. Nikki, this isn't good. None of this is good, Nikki. The look of the devil. The devil? I don't know what the fuck it was, Nikki, but it was not Nathan. Look, Nikki was evil. We just need to get all our stuff together and go home, okay? Something is seriously wrong. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't want to be here, Nikki. All right, I don't look. Be here. Something happened out there, okay? What should we do? I don't know. I don't know. What should we do, Tony? What should we do? I don't know what to do. I think we should just go. I, mean, I think we should just go. Oh, what if we... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God, Nathan! No, 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 no! He doesn't want you out there, Tony. No. That's the whole point. He went everything on tape. He gave me instructions. He went everything on tape, no matter what. I don't give a fuck what he wanted, Tony. I don't want you out there. He doesn't want you out there, Tony. Where's the other camera then? Where's the other camera? There. Just press the red button. Just go. Just press the red button. Just get it. You gotta get this. Okay. This is crazy. You got that right. I think we should just go. Nathan? He is in the world. Nathan? <laughs> Nathan? Gay Ray. <laughs> Nathan? Nathan? Ah! <laughs> 
Did we just watch a murder? Dr. Marsh? Are you okay? Dr. Marsh? Nathan? Nathan? of God, and it's not whether he loves us or he hates us. We are single frames in a film that he has been watching for eternity. We are less than despised. We are not even considered. So tell me, Catherine, why should I stop? Maybe you're right. What? Maybe you're right. Maybe life is pointless and there's nothing out there. And maybe it's a shitty world and bad things happen and it's not fair and it doesn't matter. But maybe that's why it's important. If nothing in life matters, then Every single thing we do matters. I mean, if this universe is so cold and unforgiving, then doesn't it mean something to be warm and forgiving? I'm scared. Me too. He is coming. There's always something coming. I like this. When we are in the dark, even the smallest light is important. What about when we're in the storm? Oh, <laughs> 
and you have a piece of him. A piece that he wants. He will have that piece. He needs that piece. He will have your hell. And she cannot save you. She cannot save you. The holy bitch. She cannot save you. Because she is weak. And then her god is weak. Hallowed Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is. He is not in the world. She is not in the world. I am in the world. And when you look deep down there in the darkness, that God will not be there. God our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I thy will be Father, there. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in your soul. He is in the world. He wants what's inside of you. He's not going to get it. Catherine. I don't care anymore. That thing out there changes everything. What do we do? Oh no. What? The other patients. What? He's controlling them. We have to get out of here now. outside a building in 10 years. How do you think you're going to get there by yourself? That's ridiculous.
He is in the world. He is in you. He is in the world. He is in you. He is in the world. He is in you. He is in the world. He is in you. He is in the world. He is in you. He is in the world. He is in you. And he needs you to be in the world. And he needs me to get you in the world. And he needs you to be in the world to get in the world. And he needs you to be in the world. And I want to be in the world. And I want to be in the world! Max, stop! Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. No. What? So sorry. But he doesn't need you. No! <laughs> Sure you can close it? Just get me to the gate. Don't look. I can't not look at it. Don't look! Just get in the truck. Get in the truck! Farmland. They started developing the area eight years ago.
Going through. Yeah. Look, Kim Tom wants what's in here. It's the only way to make we, him go through. No, no, we'll make sure. no, 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 no. We'll do something else. We'll figure but something out. There is no other way. But you're going back to hell. We're in the dark. Even the smallest light is important. over there. Maybe I can be the light. Thank you. For what? Now I have my answer, don't I? <laughs> Me too. This is how you turn on the light. Yeah. 